Hey guys, just making a quick little video here, dropping off another uh, 18 boxes. It's about 800 pounds, so it's 600 books total. I'm really happy that Amazon has finally decided to let me send all my stuff to one place without charging me a 30 cent fee. At least that's how it seems for right now. Apparently, uh, they are sending all this stuff to one of those uh, centers that I guess it's like a redistribution center. It, it they send it there, it's like a big central place, and then they just send it elsewhere. If that's the case, then that would be fantastic. I don't know. It's really difficult to uh, plan a business based on, you know, when they're constantly changing the rules and constantly changing things, but that's just the way, uh, that's just the way it is. Uh, so you got to deal with it the best you can, but um, hey, you know, I'm, I mean, if they want to send, if they want me to send all my stuff to one place, that'd be great. What I think is happening is, I think it's a new center a new fulfillment center and they're just trying to get stuff there uh, which is likely well I'm glad for now but uh, we'll see you know the last 1200 books I sent out were all going to this place so that's fantastic but um, this is great you know I'm having a having a good day working hard this is this is work you know this is why it's called work it's a job it can't always just be fun so um, drop this stuff off I'm at the UPS right now so We'll get this dropped off and uh, we'll get going because we got a lot of other stuff to do today. All right, just finished up dropping off that stuff. So like I'm trying to work on my business and make it grow and build it and whatnot. And I don't know, there's just so many different advantages to running your business where you hire people and you get an established, um, you know, like a warehouse location or a shop just for, you know, so many benefits when it comes to taxes and, um, you know, just offering yourself your own health insurance, 401k, all matching, all that good stuff. But you can't really take full advantage of all of that if you are, you know, not paying yourself a salary, um, not running yourself as a, as a corporation. There's so many different tax benefits when it comes to that sort of thing. And I'm certainly no expert about that, but I, I understand some of the basics. And one of the things that I'm working on right now is figuring out how to scale my business. So that means kind of letting go of certain aspects of the business that I don't really need to be doing, like packing up boxes, going over to the UPS, bringing them over to the USPS. Yes, I know, I'm, full, I'm fully aware of it. You can have them come pick it up. As far as my situation, UPS will not come and pick them up here because my apartment is kind of awkward and they can't fit the truck up here. Uh, but as far as the USPS, they're not very reliable. Uh, unfortunately, I hate to say it. And um, I don't really like leaving packages out in the middle of nowhere, uh, just open like that. And also, I don't really ship that much on eBay. So am I gonna schedule something for, you know, just one package? Probably not. So just something to think about, you know, is your business, scale your business I mean I know I am I know a lot of people don't want to scale their business and that's fine but if you want to really take advantage of and get the you know get the best deal when it comes to tax time and and offering yourself things for as a business these are things that you got to consider you know um, would you rather be taxed a lot or taxed a little would you rather have your company offer things to you tax deductible or would you rather pay out of pocket so I look at these things as I constantly try to evolve my business and I think about, you know, how to possibly support a family doing this. And these are the things that I think about. So just wanted to share those thoughts with you guys. And, you know, if there's someone out there who's really experienced at this, let me know what you think. You know, um, maybe share some input on that. I'd greatly appreciate that, of course. I know a few people who are very successful in this business and that's kind of the route that they take. And I think that's the way that I'm going to be heading eventually and it's just a matter of time until you know you really hammer out the the things that need to be done so that being said it's a beautiful day I got a lot of work to do I'm going to be going to a concert in uh, New York uh, to see Motley Crue uh, and Alice Cooper so that should be good I'm really trying to see all the bands that I haven't seen ever that are like probably going to be retiring soon I just saw Deep Purple I uh, saw Judas Priest so I'm going to try to see the Scorpions so, you know, good times, enjoying the weather while it's nice. The snow's gonna be here before you know it. So thanks guys for watching. I hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I always appreciate hearing your thoughts or constructive criticism or anything that's on your mind as far as this video. 
But thanks again, guys, for watching. I hope you like it. If you do, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with someone, subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and I'll talk to you guys later.